Me Too Fighting Series Flyweight Championship on the line here tonight. Mark Guglielmini taking on the Flying Hawaiian, Josh Pereira. Third man in the cage referee, Rob Mooney. So look, man, Guglielmini is going to have to be smart getting in. You know he's going to try to get in and get this takedown. He's got to be very smart doing so. Because Pereira throws kicks out of nowhere, and he's got great punches, too. Nice leg kick there. Yeah, as you said, oh, right there. Kick. Nice transition from Google Elmini. Yes, beautiful job. And this is exactly where Google Elmini wants it. This is going to tell the fight right here. Look at Josh. Reverse it just then. Beautiful job. Great takedown from Josh Pereira here, right over here in the one more gym red corner. I mean, look at that, Immortal Matt Brown, just cool, calm and collective. It, right, this, man. You can fight with your eyes closed when he's cornering you, man, because he's got such good cornering. Google Amini doing a good job of controlling the posture of Josh Pereira. Yeah, Josh looks content here in the guard, too. He's not really trying to pass. He, he's fine here. Google Amini's doing a really good job. Now he passes. Very wise from Josh Pereira right there. Google Amini starts to put his left hand on the arm of Josh Pereira. Pereira recognizes, well, if you're holding my arm, you can't be holding my leg. Exactly. So I just step over or knee slice through. And that's what he did. The cage got in his way. Very wise grappling from the flying Hawaiian. Google Amini. Google Amini is doing a really good job of holding Josh here. He's not taking any punishment here. Josh has finally got that right hand free. Great pressure by Piera. And a nice little knee, too. Just a little sneaky knee there. Fight IQ, man. Yeah, man. Oh, the ribs open? Okay, I'm going to take that right. real quick. Yeah. That's experience, too, man. That's, this is his eighth amateur fight. And what a thing it must be if you're immortal Matt Brown to take a guy like Josh Pereira or Cam Kenzik and shape them from nothing to, you know, hopefully what we saw Matt Brown end up being. No, that's exactly right. And, and, and immortal, man, they, they've got all the talent up there to, to get you to where you need to go for sure. He secures the he, take down here. I'm telling you, his wrestling's sick, man. He's good. And, and this is what, really, the first round is what I was really wanting to look at because could Google Mini control with his wrestling? He's doing a really good job. But Josh has had some good moments too. I mean, this fight right here, these guys are so fast. Right. They talk about they're going to use every square inch of the cage. These guys are going to use every square inch of the cage. There's Immortal Matt Brown on your screen there. That's a nice camera. Did we get a new camera, boys? Is that an 8K? Did we get a new camera? That thing looked good. <laughs> there you see the flying Hawaiian Josh Pereira up and bounce at immortal Matt Brown over there in his corner. You know, I wish we had a coach's camp, but I don't. Man, I know. I don't think the SEC would let us put uh, the federal communications, whatever that third C is. <laughs> yeah. see. I don't know if they would let us put whatever Matt Brown's saying. Oh man, hey, that's the thing. Television. We've had it mic'd up before. There you go. No, yeah, I don't know. yeah, I don't know. We need to mic him up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just animated, dude. And me, I'm a fighter. You don't want anything else other than that. I love uh, just a salty, a salty dude. Give me every other word, f bomb or a cuss word. I right. love that. Yeah, it just it hypes you up. You yeah. Know? Like, oh, you're hyped up for me. I'm gonna be hyped up even more. Hell yeah. You're, and you're right about that because look, this sport, 98% mental, man. It really is. And on the flip side of the cage over there, the B2 is a blue corner. You see Mark Brazil uh, meaning getting, you know, sol solid, calm advice. Really low vibes there. They, I mean, a five-round fight, maybe just trying to keep his heart rate down. Google Mini looked good in the first round. I mean, he, he really did. I mean, both of these guys, these guys are some of your top flyweights in the country. <laughs> a little flying knee action there by Google Mini. Oh, nice dog. Take down attempt. It's stuffed right now for Pereira, yeah, but, but Google Mini working on it still. Yep. Switches to the single. Starting to walk over. He steps the right leg over. This is good for Google Amini, and he secures the takedown. Good takedown. 
Matt Brown's talking, push the head off, you're coming up. And that's what he needs to do. He doesn't want him to close guard, he does. He needs to stand up and try to keep, get this fight to the feet. Great job of, of Pereira to listen to his coach. Now the hands are still locked for Guglielmini, they are. and he breaks them. They breaks them, and he needs to try to get that underhook and, and get out, man. He needs to get out and try to keep this fight standing, because I'm gonna tell you this, both of these guys are great wrestlers. They're kind of neutralizing each other on the ground. Oh, man, good wizard right there by Guglielmini. Yeah, hip toss attempt for Pereira right there, but stuff by Guglielmini. So technical, man, so technical. Look, he, he, going for a fireman, perhaps. What's so cool about Google Mini? He, the way he chain wrestles. If, if something's right. working, he's going to go to something else. And that's why he's so good. He never gives up on it. When you have a lifetime of wrestling, you know I can I can go for this first thing. And if it doesn't work, I'm grabbing a leg and working from there. But, Hacker, you know, man, how, how taxing is this? We talked about it in the first fight of the night. This is very taxing even for the small guys. It's the worst. On the feet, you know, on the feet, you can throw – 50, 60, 70 percent into your shots. Right. You cannot grapple 50, 60, 70 percent. No, it's 100 miles an hour. All of your grappling must be at full strength or you will lose. Yeah, I, and I agree with Matt Brown. Josh has got to break off, man. Get the fight standing. That's where he's going to be a better fighter is on the feet. And now Pereira securing a takedown yeah. here. But see what I'm saying? They're, they're kind of neutralizing each other. Right. They're both good here. They're, they're neutralizing each other. I just feel like that Pereira does listen to his coaches very well, but I feel like he needs to get it standing, go back to the center of the cage, and try to keep this fight standing because uh, Google Mini, man, he, he's a monster on the ground. But Josh is looking real good right here. Nice little peppering punches with the left hand. Good job Pereira's by Josh. Taking the back. back here, yeah, nice. Got his legs out in front a little bit. I mean, he grabs them, but Pereira improves the position. Looking for that rear naked here. The hands underneath. Oh, good job by Guglielmini. And Pereira's grappling, and Matt Brown wants him to punch. He does. He wants him to punch. He wants some big shots for the round end, right. which makes sense. Gets some significant strikes. But now he's got the back. He's got Guglielmini flattened out. This is a bad spot for Guglielmini. But Guglielmini's holding the hands. He I mean, is. There's not going to be a lot of damage here in a short time. And the round's about to end. And he's working on the choke. And it's, I, they're not going to be happy with Pereira. No, they're not. I guarantee you Matt Brown's going to say, listen to me, son. I'm telling you to stand up and fight. You need to stand up and fight. And that, that's the thing. I'm not saying Josh is doing a great job on the ground. I mean, he's had a lot of good success on the ground, and a lot of his success, and so has Google Meaning. I just feel like just history repeats itself because I haven't seen a lot of Google Meaning kickboxing. We know what Pereira's got, and I feel like that could be a difference maker if he could keep the fight standing. Look at this replay. Look at this throw. Good on the wizard. Google Mini stuffs that. And then this is where it was at in the second round, man. They were they were back and forth, back and forth. And Pereira right here flattens Google Mini out with about five seconds left. But going into the in-between rounds, that's got to make you feel good that, hey, man, I had him in a bad situation. If the round would end it, I probably might have been able to finish that choke. But Google Mini was doing all the right things. He was securing the hands. He was fighting the hands. And both of these guys have really done everything pretty much right in this fight. Well, I mean, a very competitive two rounds. And usually we would say third and final round, but no, sir, this is a title fight. That's right. Five-round fight, boys and girls. Nice one, two. Heavy leg Ooh, kick. Oh, heavy leg and, kick. And Pereira points at him. That one just barely misses. Yeah, it did. Hey, he hit Jalen McIntyre with that spinning heel kick. Flush and split Jalen's eyebrow open. I mean, it was it was a nasty cut. But here he goes. He's pressuring back up against the cage here. And I, I just don't understand why. I mean, perhaps it's to test himself with a great grappler, Mark Guglielmini. True. That would be the only reason I could right. think that you would want to do this if you're Josh Perry. Because it, it feels like you're having success on the field. Right, but I mean, the thing is, you don't want to play with a dangerous fighter like Guglielmini. I mean, you're, you're, you're in his wheelhouse right now. Why not make him get outside and fight your wheelhouse, which is standing? But he's still doing a good job. He's controlling the fight. He's winning this round. Head up, head up. Yeah, yeah. Pereira, uh, securing the takedown here. Google Amini trying to use his right hand to frame 
posture come up for Pereira doing a good job of isolating that one leg. Good job by Guglielmini yeah. to get up though. He stuffed the head, used his post to get up. Great job. Knee barely missed for Pereira. Josh is relentless with his takedown, trying to get the takedown, and Google Mini is just being just annoying, man. He's not allowing him to take him down. If he is, he's standing right back up. Google Mini trying to switch here. Josh is trying to suck the hips out. Easier said than done. Nice knee right there by Google Mini up the middle. Good head placement, too, by Pereira. Now Guglielmini turns Pereira. Very high level grappling here. Man, these guys are the same on the ground. I don't think one's better than the other. It's no. just who, who can win the transition or the scramble. And an outside trick secures a takedown for Mark Guglielmini. Josh's corner is yelling for him to get up to win the round. And I, and I, and I agree. He's got to get up. He said, push his head and go. Just get up. I mean, eat, you know, eat one or two to get up. Sometimes you got to right. do that. Oh, Heading ground and pound for Guglielmini head. right here. Big right hand. Ooh, those were heavy shots heavy right shots. there, right here in front of us. This is a, a very competitive bout. I mean, Guglielmini might be ahead two to one right hey, now. Man, he might be. Look, when this fight happened, a lot of people were counting out Guglielmini just because they didn't know who he was. They knew who Josh Pereira was. And I said, this will be Josh Pereira's toughest fight to date. Even his loss, Guglielmini is his toughest fight to date. And it's showing. And look, I would like to see Pereira stand up, man. He's, his stand up is sick. He's making this a wrestling. He is. Why? Why do that? Why, why get Guglielmini in his wheelhouse where he's good at, where he wants to be? Make him uncomfortable where he don't want to be, and that's standing. Yeah, I'm not quite sure I, I fully understand that. Um, but nonetheless, here we are. And I'm going to tell you, man, Google mini has got some pop in his punches. He was There were some hard right hands that he was delivering in the end of round three there. <laughs> Josh Ferrer, just uh, a liberal <laughs> dosage of, of spit on the mat right there. And then BT Digital. No, excuse me, the one more gym right corner. That's for traction. Yeah. <laughs> you see that happen all the time. So we are now into the championship round, this flyweight championship bout, touch of the gloves. I feel like Google Amini's ahead two to one. I, I do too, and then I feel like he's looking for that shot. I want to see Josh's stand. But see, Google Amini's good about taking the center of the cage, getting Josh up close to the back of, of the cage panel, and then closing the distance. Oh, nice left hand. Body kick for Pereira. Nice, hey, nice outside leg kick by Google Mini. Oh, big right hand. The right hook landing for Pereira. And a jab for Google Mini. Nice jab. Google Mini's been working to stand up, man. Nice leg kick. Come on, guys, just go to war. You know you want to. <laughs> we want to see it. I know it, man. Oh, and a big man, body kick, big I think, body kick. for, for Google Mini. I'm so impressed with Mark Guglielmi. Man, I am too. I'm, I'm telling you. But the thing is, is he's not let Pereira set and, and get in his rhythm. Right. Pereira's a rhythm fighter, man. Once he gets in his rhythm, it's hard to stop. But if you can stop him from getting in his rhythm, you can neutralize him on the feet. I don't want you back on that cage. Yeah, Google mean he's looking great, man. I mean, because we just know how dangerous Josh really is. He's not our champion for no reason. No, 100%. he's tough. Nice body shot right there by Josh, by our champ. Heavy leg kick landing for Pereira. Nice jab by Google Mini off the camera from the leg kick. Good head move. Yeah, Good trend. job. Head right arm to choke head for arm. Google Mini. This is in tight. He's got to go. He's got to get lower. He's got to get his head lower. Pereira's trying to get his elbow to the floor. And he's almost there. If he would just elbow hard down to the floor, 
Pereira locking up his guard. Oh, big right hand. Big ground and pound. Hard ground and pound. Pereira's holding on to the leg of Guglielmini. Got to do something. Your head's up against the cage. You got to get off that position. Yeah, man, he's got he's to put his foot on the hips, kick him off. He's got, he, he could right now. He could easily put his foot on his hips and kick Guglielmini off. Google Mini looks relaxed in, in the guard of Pereira. Throwing down some really effective ground and pound. Short time remaining here in this fourth round. Triangle attempt for Josh Pereira. Isolated that left arm of Google Mini. And Google Mini's out. Good job. Oh, another big right hand. Josh, Josh Pereira is a warrior, but Gugu Amini, he started to put some distance between them. He really is, man. And I'm going to tell you, uh, Pereira's also cut un right underneath the side of his right eye. He uh, Gugu Amini cut him in that round, in some of that ground and ground. I, I think that Pereira's down three to one. Yeah, and he knows it. He just, like, wins, you know, like, going into his corner. He's like, he's upset with himself. Like, right. dang, man, like, what the hell am I doing? Uh, it's just a tough fight, man. I mean, it's just what it is. You're, you're, you got a world-class wrestler who has wrestled his whole life. And, and really, Josh has brought that fight to him in this fight tonight. Absolutely. So no matter what, how this fight goes, it's going to be a, a loss, excuse me, a lesson for whoever, yeah. quote, loses this fight. And, and I'm going to tell you, whoever wins this, I, I mean, our 125 amateur division is pretty stacked. We got some, we got some killers in there, but at the same time, uh, man, I, I, there's not a lot of them that are as good as these two right here. Absolutely not. These, again, we, I mean, we say this a lot. These guys look like pros, man. They do. Pereira looks like uh, a guy that could that could make some money. Guglielmini looks like a guy who, I mean, you could see in our flyweight Grand Prix, perhaps. Oh, yeah, 100%. And I'll tell you who's really enjoying this fight just as much as me and you and the people at home is Mr. Rob Mooney, because we know what type of wrestler right. Rob Mooney is, yeah. and he's loving this fight right now, I guarantee it. That's a great Fight point. Round. Fifth and Fight final round. round. Great job, great sportsmanship, I love that. Look at that, man. Overhand Just right. Running take through the beautiful wall job. is Mark Guglielmini. He's a force, man. He's a problem. Yeah. And the thing is, you know, we talk about, oh, well, you know, you need to angle out instead of going straight back. You know, for your takedown defense, you know the shot's coming. You can't stop it. That's the problem, because he sets it up in so many different vari variations. Man, this is just the worst feeling if you're Josh Burr. And I, I've been to that guy, the champion, who's in the fifth round and, and is just not go being here tonight. I mean, it's just the worst feeling. Sometimes it's just not your night. You yeah. just feel a little flat here and there. But you know, really, man, I, I really feel like the big key to this fight is the first couple of rounds when Josh sh should have kept it standing, and he didn't, and he tried to wrestle with him, and I think Google Mini was just a little bit better in the wrestling department. That's a very good point, Andy Law. Yeah, uh, that's the that's the thing with this 10-9 must system. You build that base early. Mark Google Mini, I won't say gifted a, a two-round lead, you know, two to one after three, right. but... But Pereira certainly did him a favor by making this a grappling match, in our opinion, of course. No, yeah, that's just my opinion. I mean, and, and a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but really, that's our opinion, and I feel like that's that was the difference in this fight. Halfway through the fifth and final round here, Mark Guglielmini way well on his way to upsetting the champion and becoming your new B2 Fighting Series flyweight champion. And, and it's really cool to see where he's came in the last year, year and a couple of months, man. And, and the thing about it is, too, is not only, you know, a lot of wrestlers will lay and pray and eke out a decision for, for control. That's not he, Google Mini. That's not Google Mini. He's landing down vicious ground and pound, trying to finish this fight. Man, he's just, his wrestling is just so dominant. Short time remaining. And shout out to Josh Ferrer, still building that base, still working to get he's, up. Yeah, man, he's a champ. You know, he, he's going to work until the, end of, until the end of the fight. He's a dog. He is. 
And Gugu Amini looks like he could do this for 10 rounds. It's one of them things, man, it's like you've been doing that for your whole life. It's just muscle memory at right. that point. You're not even using energy. You're just, you've done it your whole life. Yeah, he, he definitely could go 10 rounds easy. <laughs> Josh, he just, oh, man. Google that mean he's climbing he's on the back now. Short time remaining. Ten seconds oh, remaining. Google that mean he's trying to get a choke here. You're going to have to put Pereira to sleep oh, yeah, here. Yeah, He's definitely not tapping. <laughs> and that man, does it. Five hard-fought rounds between Josh Ferreira and Mark Guglielmini. We're pretty certain that Guglielmini is walking out of here with that belt. Yeah, 100%. He's going to be our new 125 flyweight champion. And we're honored to have him. Look, Pereira needs to hold his head up. That was a tough fight. I guarantee you we'll see him, we'll see him back really soon. He didn't take a lot of damage. He's cut a little bit over the eyes. Wasn't bad. But, uh, I mean, just look the way he sets up the takedown right there, Hacker. I mean, the overhand right. He wasn't even trying to plan the, the throw and land that overhand right. That was all a ploy to change levels and get to the hips of Pereira, and that's exactly what he did. And, again, this is an invaluable lesson for Josh Pereira moving on into the twilight of his amateur career. This is a guy who's going to be getting money soon for this fight game. He's going to certainly look back on this fight and, and see, OK, Immortal Matt Brown is telling me to hit rather than grapple. I'm hitting rather than grappling. 100%. He, he's got things to work on and better now than as a pro. Yeah. So, so absolutely nothing to be upset about. And you know that's a great thing about Josh Ferrari. He's as bright and, and bright and kind of a kid as you can find. And the same for Google Amini as well, man. I mean, you just could not have drawn up uh, an amateur bout any better. No, you can't. And both of these guys, we will see them on the pro level one day. They will have great pro careers. Look, man, Josh just needs to hold his hands up. I, I really feel like that's what kind of got the fight away from him is, is he should have stood when his corner was telling him to stand and hit when his corner told him to hit. Instead, he grappled. And he did a good job grappling yes, a world-class wrestler in Google Amini. I mean, Josh. Out inched. Exactly. Just inch. inch, just just a little bit, and that's that was the difference in the fight, man. Uh, a long well, time on these scorecards, man. These judges take a long time. And these, I mean, this is just too long. I mean, look, man. No disrespect to uh, to our champ as of right now, Pierre. But the thing about it is, is that it's definitely a unanimous decision. Right. Um, I don't know what's taking so long, but it is what it is. I mean, this is just an absurd amount of time for a decision that is not close. Yeah. So Rob Mooney gathers the fighters. We're making absolutely sure that we've <laughs> dotted our T's and crossed our I's. Right. No shame in that. There's a belt on the line. We want to make sure we get this one right. And there's the man with the cards in his hand. Let's go to Lance Green now for the official decision. B2 Fighting Series fans, after three grueling rounds, this decision has gone to your judges. Your first judge, Rob Pope, scores this. 48-47. Guglielmini. Your second judge, Dave Merce, scores this. 48, 47, Pereira. Your final judge, Mike Wells, has scored this bout. 48 to 48. This is a split draw. Oh, man. That's still your B2 North flyweight Look at champion. Look at That's ridiculous. The flying Hawaiian, Josh Pereira. Even that Josh, is absolutely it, ridiculous. Yeah, even Josh knows that you know Google Mini probably got that one. I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a tough fight, man. It was a good fight, real close. I thought there might have been one or two rounds. It was a little different, and so I mean that's why the decision was taking so long. 